Oh, I like uh, Hamid's question. Uh, uh, Hamid, how do you pronounce your name? Hamid. Hamid, Hamid yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm never going to be able to say last name ever, but I'm still going to keep trying. All right, so on YouTube, Ahmed Yahya is asking, kindly, what is the best website to find and buy second-hand cars when we are newly arrived in New Zealand? Facebook groups. Yes. Go for it. Yeah. So the best place to find um, used cars is usually on buy and sell um, car groups on Facebook. Um, we'll link up to one of them that we actually run ourselves. And there's like, lots of people selling camper vans and cars and all sorts on there. Um, and we'll link that in the description after this rebroadcast for this video. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a free way for people to put up a car for sale, say how much it is, organize viewings through that. And there's really a lot of choice. So I think that's definitely the best place to go and get a car. And usually people are trying to sell their cars pretty quickly on there. So you don't need to worry about waiting around because they're not really waiting around for the best price. Um, you can do a lot of negotiation on there and that's definitely a good place to get a second-hand car. Now, another way to find second-hand cars is to actually go around the hostel in the uh, city you decide to arrive. So, usually we would recommend Christchurch or um, Christchurch or Auckland only. But um, yeah, so you go around and you are you either look at, a, there's usually a massive cork board where people will pin ads for the car that they're selling with their phone number. So then you just call them straight away. Or you can ask for the car binder, which is basically a big folder where they put all the ads in there. So it depends on what the hostel does, but you always have some um, uh, car binders in hostels. And that's literally the best way to find a car to buy in New Zealand because well, this is literally the people that are trying to sell it like right here, right now. They're literally leaving New Zealand in like two or three days and they really want to um, to sell their car. Now, if you want to get um, get an idea of prices from like more like local and local selling cars, you can try Trade Me. Yeah, so Trade Me is another website which is basically like the New Zealand version of eBay. So it's like an auction website. People, anyone can list um, items on there and then, you know, people either bid or buy now um, on, well, they actually have cars on there as well, cars and camper vans and all sorts of vehicles. But the thing with Trade Me is that it's mostly locals that are putting their cars on Trade Me and they will probably be trying to get the best price possible on their vehicle so if you compare it to Facebook groups like I was just talking about where people are more trying to get rid of um, their cars quickly on um, on trade me people yeah they want to get the best price basically for their cars but that is a good good place to actually do a little bit of research prior to coming to New Zealand so that's just simply trademe.com I believe or, or .co.nz <laughs> .co .nz, no okay. .com. <laughs> All right, uh, and the last place where you can find some cars to purchase in New Zealand will be car fairs. Um, there are car fairs in uh, Auckland and in Christchurch at selected times. Um, I won't go through those right now, but uh, if you go on Backpacker Guide on NZ, we actually talk about them. So if you go on the buying car section, so um, so yeah, so you go to the car fair there is a uh, half like a uh, semi-professional people there's also some backpackers that really want to um uh, get rid of their car and um, and yeah in the car fairs you'll be able to find and browse car literally right in the front so it's like browsing online except that you literally browse physical cars which is quite handy so there are websites actually that for the car fairs where they yeah. list some of those cars yeah, on yeah, yeah. prior so, yeah definitely yeah. and so we link to all of those on backpackerguide.nz but it's got it's kind of really um really handy so yeah so that's basically it for um for finding cars in new zealand um can people like and subscribe yeah they yeah. can they certainly they can, can. so course. if you find any of our questions useful give us a cheeky like at the bottom of this video just so we know that we're doing a good job or if we're not doing a good job um also make sure you put in the comments below any questions that you have about New Zealand or traveling in New Zealand and we'll be sure to add them to our pool of questions for next week we print out all our questions, well, all the questions that we receive, receive throughout the week, and we do our best to go through as many as possible in the next live chat.